Hey guys, what's up? Moparts Webshop here. Today we'll be working on our Sprocati rotary valve uh, project bike. Um, we've made some adjustments to the engine um, in regards to the cylinder head. Uh, we still have some minor issues, but we're going to sort that out in a minute. And then we're going to see if we can, well, plant the engine and uh, get it running. I already had it running yesterday. I just want to put it under the bike and maybe we can go for a test ride today. If not... Uh, my plan is to have it idling and well, more more or less fine tuned, because yesterday uh, it started right up no problem, but it uh, it stalled here and there. So we're gonna play with the jets a little, play with the choke, play with the well with the carburetor settings and so on, and uh, see what happens. So yeah, bear with me, guys. Yeah. So the neat thing about this subframe, uh, which I designed with a friend of mine. Um, is that it's a three-piece subframe which is basically a bolt bolt-on subframe and uh, well you can take off both sides either left or right and you can still have the bike standing so the engine swap or anything you know if you want to adjust your carb settings or whatever you can easily get to the engine um, you can still have the engine in place whilst you're working on the bike and whilst it's standing up so this is definitely really really useful if you're on the track and you don't want to you know take the engine out of your cradle out of your subframe because um, this is just whoop, plate off plate on and you're done ready to go so good system still needs some uh, some work this is the mock-up this is a prototype system we haven't finished this one yet we're gonna be producing these as well so look out for that this one has been specially designed for this Sprocati rotary valve uh, engine but we're gonna make them for uh, stock engines as well, you know, just a standard uh, whatever, a standard a reed valves and shit. Not so standard, but you get my point. Um, so yeah, yeah. So to start this bike, uh, well, you don't start this bike the conventional way, such as, you know, you can't just push start it. Uh, it doesn't have a decompression valve in the head, so you're gonna need to look at an alternate way of starting it so we're uh, gonna be um, we're gonna be uh, starting it off the crankshaft which we've done before I think about a year ago part of our crankshaft um, thread broke off which was really fucked up because um, yeah now uh, we just have to look at a different system and now we're uh, gonna use this 3d nut that goes uh, and falls into the variator so imagine the variator is on here because the thread is only it, the thread only reaches out until the same height as the variator plate, the um, the top plate of the variator. So you can't put a nut on anymore, it's impossible. So this one falls in and then clamps the variator plate in place, thus locking everything in place. Into the 3D nut falls this, um, well, these 10.9-grade uh, uh, heat-treated uh, M8 bolts. And um, these should be strong enough for everything. So yeah, let's see what happens.